Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to deploy your machine learning web application or your class app into Google Cloud, right? Okay, so first of all, you see that this URL is a custom URL, which is not the normal local URL. And then we'll be trying something which we have done. So let's see. So let's see a great tutorial. This is this is a spam detector. That's what we have already done. So good tutorial is going to tell me that it is a spam or not a spam, right? So not a spam, it is a ham. Again, if you go back and then we check something different, something like this, uh, say please subscribe for more. If I predict, it's going to tell me that this is a spam, right? And it's telling me what I what my comment was. So we'll be trying to build something like that. We'll be trying to deploy the, the machine learning web application that we have created into google cloud platform so first of all you need is a, a gmail a gmail account so i've already created a gmail account so you go to google cloud console if you already have a gmail account it's quite easy just click on it you follow through the instruction the only thing that it will require is your maybe your credit card right that is the only thing but they are not going to deduct any money from it except you give them the permission they give you the chance to create a 300 dollar free credit which is for one Oh here. Okay, so it should take some time to open. Perfect. So this has going to be so it's giving you three hundred dollar credit, which is going to last for one whole year with a free trial. That's what you should choose. Easy to learn and easy to practice. So when it comes like that, this is our dash our dashboard to give you a lot of Thing to do so you can have your home you can have your api service your i am your admin then all of these things getting started right you can have your app engine and then your compute engine kubernetes engine but we'll be going straight away to app engine that's what we'll be using right so you can create a vm instance but in this case we just go straight away and then without all those wahal all those long procedure so we go to my, your project this top here and then you can create a folder a project right and you should be careful about the name of the project you are going to create so i can even create another project that is a new project right so that's what we're going to do so we have 24 projects remaining in your quota so you should make sure that this name is very important is very useful so let's use something like jcaris stick right Something like this, just you carry stick, and then we're going to create this app. Let's make it simple. No J carries technologies. Technologies. Wow, that is too long. Okay. Okay. That's the name of the project you are creating. So we're going to create it perfectly. And then that's the name of the project is going to the project folder that is going to be created. So it takes some time to run all the process. So after it has created it, you can just go to here and then you select the project you want. So I'm selecting this project. So I click on it. And it's going to select that project for me. Okay, so this is perfect. So you don't have to go through a long process, just go to this icon here which is a terminal you click on it it's going to open your Google or J Cloud shell right and if it's your first time it's going to take some time to provision your cloud shell so it's going to be doing it for some time then okay so you go to your this place right that is the launch code editor you click on it. it's going to open a new tab for you it's going to be our editor where, where we're going to do everything that you want to do So it takes some time to load and set up your workspace. Perfect. So now we have set up our workspace. Let me close this. Okay. So first of all, you have to create a folder. So let's create our folder. And then we am going to call it as spam ML app, right? That's the folder you're going to create. So when you go to this place inside the shell, we list it. 
set the spam here right there's nothing there so you open it then you create your first file there are three main things that is very important so you create a file and we'll call it as main.py this way all our we're going to place our python code then i'll create another file this file is going to be our app.yaml file which is going to be our configuration so we can create another file it's going to be our requirements file where we're going to place all the package that is required so requirements the tst perfect so these are the three main files that you need so let's start so inside our main.py increase the size going to import flags to flag from flags import flags a url for request and then render template right on a template then we're going to import also the ml package so i'm going to call it as my ml packages and then our eda packages eda packages so our eda is going to be a pandas import pandas as pd and then import numpy as numpy right that is if you are going to be using it so this goes up perfect okay so let's start our app so first of all to start our app let me bring this down it's going to be like this you're going to initialize our app with app it's going to flux and name We're going to create our first decorator so app.route doesn't take any argument then our function so in this dot we're going to return render templates supposed to render template right okay I'm going to call it as index.html so because you are going to render a template you have to create a file called a folder called templates so the folder is going to be templates so inside our folder we will create our files index.html and we create another one called results.html Okay, so that's all so that's the main, main important thing so here is referring to the index okay so here let's copy this one because it's going to be the same thing for our result right perfect bring this one down okay so here we're going to call it as results Then we're going to call it as predict. Okay, so perfect. So that's what we're going to do. Now the last thing we have to do is we're supposed to use the if main to close it, right? It's for us to close it, right? So we're going to use the if main. So if underscore underscore where right, paste it. So if dash underscore underscore name underscore underscore then it's called me, right? So this is going to be our host, our local host. You can use your custom one or can just set it like that so that it use a cloud console phone then you set your port port 8080 then the bag is called to two okay perfect so now we are done with the app now let's go on with the next thing the next thing is for the index html right so we go to this index html there's nothing there perfect there's nothing there so i'll paste our code from the previous tutorial perfect So the most important thing is this place. So the form is using an action and sending to URL for to this predict, which is inside our main.py using this method post. And whatever you're going to be typing will be stored inside the name comment and be sent into our 
predict here, right? Okay, so then let's do for the results. Let me copy and paste. So our result is already also pasted. So it is like the same thing that we had in the previous tutorial. It's quite simple. We're going to put it on the comment was this. Right. Okay. So that's that is it, right? So it's going to perform the logic inside this piece. Now we are set for our app. Now let's go back to our main.py. Then place our stuff here, our machine learning stuff here. But before we do that, there's something I want you to notice. You are supposed to go to your app.yaml file and then set up these things, which is very important. That is the configuration. So we're going to call it runtime. Runtime is going to be Python, then environment. You can also set a runtime config, right? This not, it's not supposed to be a tab, it's supposed to be a space. And I'm going to set it as Python version 3. Then I'm going to set our environment. So environment is going to be, this place can be flex, that is for flexible, or it can be stand, standard, or you can even set it as a VM is going to true. That is if you are using a VM instance. But let's set it as environment. So environment flex then after that we will move on to set the entry entry point so entry point is going to you be using G unicorn G unicorn B then it goes with our pods the pod that we had so pods then main Right, so I think I have to call this. Okay, perfect. So now we are we are set for the app. So everything is perfect. One of the ways of doing this sometimes you may have issues with this. So you copy this, then you check go to your YAML. YAML. You paste it here. You run it. It's going to validate it. So we say valid ML. So I'll copy this thing here and go back and paste it. The same thing. Perfect. Okay. Now we are set for the YAML. Now let's check for our requirements file. So our requirement is here. Let me close this. Close this. So our requirement is where you're going to place all the packages and libraries required for this app to work. So we need Flux, a particular version of Flux. So let's say we need 19 points. So this is going to be our comment. So we have our Flux, we have G Unicorn, we have Pandas, NumPy, SciPy, and then Scikit-Learn to, to help us run our model here, right? Perfect. So we are done with our comment file. We are done with the YAML file for our configuration. And then we have done with our main file. Now let's import our ML packages. Okay, so now we are done with it. So the next thing is for us to add our function, our logic here. Sometimes you can store your data inside your bucket, right? Your cloud storage and, and refer to that place. Or you can use go to GitHub where you have stored your stuff. Um, This is where my data is for this tutorial. So I'll refer straight away to this too. Copy this one. And then set a URL. So URL is going to be like this. This is the same format that if you want to run it without typing everything, you can put everything on, on GitHub and then clone it straight away. So I'll paste PD. So data frame is going to pd.read CSV. CSV now pass in my URL perfect now let's paste the remaining code so that it become faster
Okay, perfect. So here we need to accept a method because the method is coming from the index, right? The index file is using the form was using a post method. The method was this. And then we're going to read our file, our features, extract them, which is a normal basic code that we did. Then we're going to use our classifier. If you want, you can use your model. That is, you have to save your model. If you want to use your model straight away, save it in the same format. Okay. Then the logic will come from here, as we already learned. So it's going to use post from the form. It's going to take the name, comment, and then store it as data vectorize it, transform it, and then use our classifier, a naive base classifier to predict it, right? Whatever we are typing inside, we're going to send it to our result page, which was here. So this is going to be our result page. Perfect, so we're going to bring it here. So now we are done. So now let's go back to our file. So Alex, we have spam, so cd spam, we have to navigate to that file Then here you see that all the things are there perfectly so the best way is now you can just run it like this so g cloud app deploy to start building it perfectly so if, it's as, if there's errors, it's going to tell you the errors so it's going to ask you some questions so this is going to be our default URL that you'll be using. So let me copy it and show you something. If I paste it here, see that, that nothing is going to show, right? Because I have not finished. So I'll go back to here. Yes. Start building the image. So to take time and build everything that you want to build. It's unburdening it, you can just run it here. I don't give us the URL of it. Just here. So whatever I'm going to check here. So let's check something like great video. So let's check spam. There's no spam. Perfect. So it's now working. So thank you. Let's check the last one. It's thanks for watching. Thanks for your attention. Oh, <laughs> it's as well. Okay, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or contribution, you can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can be blessed. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed. And one thing that after you have finished, you should make sure that if you're not using it, you have to close it. Otherwise, it will still take and start charging you.